Oh, I just made a cup of tea. Nobody knows how to make a good cup of tea at all. Let me tell you how to make a good cup of damn tea. And it's very important to have a good cup of tea. Who cares why? First of all, don't start with commercial anything. Second, I'm not talking herb. I don't even understand herb teas. I understand the homeopathy of them. I understand the importance of them. I understand I'm so glad celestial seasonings. I remember when they first came out. They used to have their little sayings that they still do on the opening of the box. They're yogi sayings. Too many boys, not enough women sayings. But anyway, Celestial, maybe you could update it a bit. Other gender. In the meantime, A Good Cup of Tea by Susan Powder. A Good Cup of Tea is a very high quality English tea bag. The English may be a lot of things, but they do make a good tea. Good, rich brown sugar, which is only white sugar covered in molasses. Anyway, who cares? That lumpy, clumpy, creamy, thick, fabulous brown sugar, that goes in the bottom of your cup while your water is boiling. Two tea bags go into the same cup, and then you pour in soy creamer. Thick, vanilla, sexy soy creamer. Thank God you can get soy nowadays, otherwise you'd have to use bovine growth hormone if you're not eating organic dairy. And if you're not Good cup of tea requires good creamy milk, soy milk. Oh yeah, uh, silk and soy milk. What would there not be to understand about this? First of all, my children have grown up for 23 years, way before the bean became hip, way before the bean became hip. 23 years, I've been grinding the bean to make milk. Oh, I've made my own barley milk. Not sure if I've made my own soy milk, but I've made my own all kinds of milk because, well, that's a whole other story, which I just told my son, as I just told him the story of his life. So, take two tea bags, not one, English tea, not commercial gross tea, put it in the cup, pour some fabulous soy, silk and soy milk creamer, pour boiling water into brown sugar, two tea bags, and a lot of creamy cream. Let the tea bags, is it seep? No, steep, steeple, church, oh my God. Seep, no, seep out, steep in. I have no idea, but let the tea bags stay in the damn boiling water in the cup for a long time till it's strong. Then gently, and please do it delicately, maybe I should show this, take a spoon and just stir gently. Add a little class to your tea drinking. I am going to show it. I am going to show it. I'm so going to go get a fucking spoon right now. <laughs> okay, so. I I'm not holding it up. I have a spoon. This is all I have until I get eight more. Oh, by the way, I do have another camera. <gasps> Maybe I should set it up. In the meantime, screw it. Listen to the delicate stirring. Listen. Gently. Gently. The sound of it has everything to do with stirring a good, thick, creamy cup of tea. A little class, people. It's time to take the gauche out and put a little, not refine, that's a terrible word, refine takes out everything. Put a little elegance into your own damn life. Little something, something, something. The aristocracy without the death and murder connected. Class without slavery. Women would do that. I, I can be classy and not ruin all kinds of indigenous people. I wouldn't make sure I was the only one with the Baroque furniture and that all the other people barely had their land, but I would have the Baroque furniture. And there would be a requirement that if you would like to work your land and you would like to call yourself a peasant, you need to still come in and be able to sit on my sofa properly. Now, I think that is genius, mm, that monarchy.